All right, so I got a couple things here to show you. One of them being a 4K, but the but let's get into the DVD, I guess. First, there's only two things in this whole video. So I got what's love got to do with it? Got to do with it? Um, if you don't know, Tina Turner died recently, and uh, this movie, uh, which was put out by Touchstone, has never been out on Blu-ray because it's owned by Disney. Touchstone's owned by Disney, and so they didn't put this out on Blu-ray. So the DVD for this, that had a lot of unsold copies on Amazon, is now selling like hotcakes, and this movie's selling for quite a bit of money. People really want this. That will die down, and this will probably go back in stock, or maybe it won't. Maybe the, because I think a lot of those Touchstone titles that, that I bought off of Amazon for like five bucks or whatever, those are older copies that somehow Amazon just randomly has a warehouse full of, and they're just trying to get rid of them. So that's why they're so cheap too. So uh, like this may not go back into print; it may just go. But I got it for six bucks. Um, I was this is real. So this is selling for a lot of money, and I'm not here to flip it. I'm not here to say that. I was in a Rite Aid, a Rite Aid, a pharmacy, and I was just, I was just checking the ATM the other day. That's all I was doing. Well, drove right out, got my thing done, and but I decided to go like cruise around. Sometimes they put out cool stuff, and I just kind of look around, and I see these DVDs, and I never really stopped to look at the DVDs because. They're just random stuff that it's like, why would I ever want this? No one ever buys it, right? Anyways, I'm going through them. And I found this, six bucks, and I bought it immediately. Because I was just like, look, I want to watch this movie. Uh, six bucks for a movie that is, you know, kind of a big deal right now. Because of what happened, it's a tragedy, rest in peace. But yeah, I'll have to check that out. Because uh, I've never seen the movie, and you know. She's an icon for a reason. Anyways, this one I ordered because Amazon right now, I don't, has been having a lot of Kino Lorber titles for just 20 bucks. And to be honest, if I had the money, I would just grab them. But I'm not going to, you know, I got a lot of things coming this month and pre-orders and other things that I got other things to worry about. And I, you know, but I ordered one Kino Lorber title for my dad for Father's Day, basically. And then I ordered one for myself. And the one for myself showed up sooner than the one for my dad. But Tropic Thunder on 4K. I have actually pre-ordered this when it was originally came out. But I decided to just cancel it because it was like 30 bucks, And I was waiting on it to show up on release day and it did it. And I was like, you know what? If To me, if you have, if your pre-order cannot come on release date... Or at least within the first week of the thing releasing. You should not have pre-orders for that item. Just flat the fuck out. I think it's dumb. Uh, these companies keep trying to put up pre-orders for things like that. And I just think it's insulting to your customer. You pre-order something. You should be able to get it when it actually comes out. Because some of us, like, we put in pre-orders for things months and months in advance. And yet they still can't have things to us for months and months later. I'm just like, how does this happen? You know, I don't know. But yeah, 20 bucks for this was a great deal. Sadly missed out on that slipcover, but it's whatever. I got the movie. And this is, I think, only my third Kino Lorber title. My only 4K Kino Lorber title. I have the Jetsons movie and Kazam with Shaq. Those are my only Kino Lorber titles. But yeah, this has got an audio commentary by Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. Got an audio commentary by Ben Stiller, co producer, production designer. It's got some, uh, you know, other stuff in here, featurettes. Deleted scenes, alternate ending, theatrical trailers, and more. Just all kinds of stuff on here. So it's pretty neat. There's the front there. You also get the uh, theatrical cut 4K, but for whatever reason, you don't get the director cut in 4K, which I think is nonsense. But uh, yeah, I do need to add more kinos to the collection. I just don't have them because to me, kinos are very plain. Like this looks okay, but they're not my preferred label on that front and then also like Kino Lorber to be honest puts out a lot of titles that just nobody knows what they are like yeah this is a popular movie but then they just put out a bunch of random stuff and I'm like what is that even some of their 4ks like I'm like what is that and then there's other ones like oh yeah that's an obvious classic it's very old it's an older movie not a lot of people buy it but the fact that they're putting out is awesome but yeah I just need to upgrade 
I had some more Kinos, but for right now I got that one. They're like Criterions to me. Yeah, I want them. Price isn't usually right though, and that's why I don't have a lot of them. But yeah, super excited about this. Thank you guys for watching, like, and subscribe.